Engineers waste hours juggling tools. One minute you're in Gmail, the next you're in Excel, then jumping into SAP or a modeling program. Every handoff is friction. But ChatGPT just released a new developer mode and when combined with MCPs, model context protocols, you can connect many of your tools directly. This is the start of the language user interface. Imagine Gmail, Word, and Bluebeam all speaking the same language, coordinated by one assistant. That's the future we're stepping into, and it is happening in front of our eyes. We've started incorporating MCPs directly into our Mantle product, an orchestration layer that connects engineering tools into one workflow. And today I want to give you a look at how you can start experimenting with MCPs yourself. We're not going to go into custom builds, but this is a quick way you can get started with Rube and ChatGPT's new developer mode in order to test out MCPs and get a handle of things. In this video, we'll cover what MCPs are and why they matter, how to try them out today using ChatGPT's developer mode, a first step example connecting with Gmail, and how the same approach extends to engineering tools like SAP, PC Swim, and beyond. So what is an MCP? Let's get into it. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, and it's essentially a central port, a way for AI agents to connect to your tools, pull data, and coordinate actions. The main benefit that it has over the old system is it's one connection system. It's fast access, although it's a slightly longer setup, the plug and play is super easy, and in the long term, it's much more scalable. The old system had many connections, tough to set up, it's harder to scale, and it can be pretty disorganized at times. However, it's important to note, it's not always the right choice. On their own, agents are smart but limited. They need access to tools like email, SAP, Word, your database, maybe it's MySQL if you're with Oracle, and then also custom tools that you have created in Python maybe. All of these would require API connections and documentation to connect to your brain, but with an MCP, it's the main port. It essentially allows you to connect everything at once. It's kind of like those hubs that you can see in a computer where you connect into the side and then they can attach a whole bunch of different inputs. Or it is like, let me grab it, like something like this, where it has all the different ports and you can connect USB, USB-C and whatever. This is the MCP and then it connects into your LLM. This is the side you would connect into the LLM. So MCPs are like a USB-C, a universal adapter, and they allow agents to interact with your everyday apps. And here's where it really gets interesting for civil engineers. The same setup that you would have with email or Word also works with SAP 2000, PC Swim, design databases, anything with an API key, as long as you can make the application in some type of programming interface. Instead of re-entering data across systems, an MCP can connect them. Imagine querying SAP for a project and then pulling PC Swim results directly into a report and even syncing drawings with a project database. That all just done with natural language. This is the language user interface. All orchestration done through one assistant. And this is exactly what we're building with Mantle, an orchestration for all of your tools. But we're not going into that in-depth procedure because that would take all day. We're going into a much simpler process, trying MCPs with ChatGPT's new developer mode. You'll get off the ground quickly. So with no further ado, let's get into that section. All right, so now we can see the chat interface and we're going to go over developer mode and rube so here's rube it is the mcp connection that we need if you just click on install rube here click on the chat gpt for the platform and then in developer mode you're going to see open chat gpt settings go to connectors enable developer mode copy this link so we're going to go copy this link go to chat we're going to go in here, use connectors, add sources, connect more. And then here, if you go to advanced settings, you're going to see this developer mode and we're just going to toggle it on. Once developer mode is on, you are going to see it's orange now. And we can go here, more developer mode. Now developer mode is activated. Within developer mode, I already have a couple Rube apps. But for clarity, we're going to just reconnect it again. So we're going to go Rube demo description MCP from Rube and MCP server URL. That's what we got right in this application here. So now we are going to go back and I trust this application and create. Now Rube is going to actually connect to our ChatGPT interface in this developer mode. 
um, and allow access organization selected. So that's just all connecting the Rube MCP. And what we're going to show in this demo is literally just connecting to Gmail and showing how we can select and send an email through Gmail. So Rube is connected, go back to developer mode, add sources. And here is the Rube demo it's on. Now you're going to see, we just went through all of these steps, eggs out. Now we want to connect Gmail. So hit connect. Click your account, continue, provide access, select all, and you can control what it can do, what you want it to be able to see and use. But for this specific application, we are going to let it connect to all functionalities of our Gmail. Account connected successfully, Gmail has been connected to your account. So now you can see Gmail is connected. We'll give this a little refresh and reconnect this developer mode. And now Rube demo is on. So let's see, can you see my Gmail inbox? We'll try that out. Just see if it has access to the tool. I always like to do this just to ensure everything is, is working properly. You're gonna see that in the new developer mode, the memory is off, so you can't reference past memories. And now this just actually shows you what exactly is happening in Rube. It's pretty cool. So it's saying I can fetch the last 10 messages from my inbox with subject sender snippets. We'll try that out just to see if it can actually understand what's going on in my Gmail. And then we will go into Gmail and see what has been sent. So we can see various messages and we got some messages right there. And now it's going to take a little while. It's going to go through my Gmail, understand exactly what's happening. That's odd. Let's see what tool it was accessing up here. Tool array. Gmail. Yeah, there we go. So it's accessing my last 10 messages. Some of them are from junk mail. So if I go here, go more, all mail. Now we can see Dennis, edX, my fitness, and edX, Dennis. So there, it's actually correctly doing it. Sometimes it's a little buggy, but we've figured it out. Now I can say, write an email to myself on the last three emails I have received. Provide a three line summary for each. So I'm sending an email to myself essentially. Now we're going to see if it can actually deal with and send an email in Gmail. It's pretty interesting. So while that's loading, you're going to see within marketplace here, there are a bunch of different types of applications. Rube has over 500 tools it can connect with. So it can connect with your Slack, Discord, Trello. Um, it can also deal with GitHub, which is obviously for programming. It's got a whole bunch, whole bunch of functionalities. And like I said, you can also create custom tool connections. So here's a clean draft you can send want me to send it to James Hinsberger now. Google security, new roles, and then it provides a summary. Send it, let's see what happens. So now it's going to actually take that draft and send the email to myself. Obviously you could send it to other individuals, but again, we don't wanna be spamming people. One thing to note is obviously it would be much easier for me in some cases, like asking a question to somebody to actually just go into Gmail and ask the question. But for summarization tasks or where you want to transfer information from one tool to the next, it may actually be more efficient to create this connection system. And it's super easy to connect tools within Rube as long as they exist. Many do. So here it breaks down exactly what it's wanting to do. Send the approved summary email to the user's own address confirm. 
So this developer mode is basically showing you all the coding involved with these requirements. And the MCP is allowing a quick and easy access to all of your tools. And that's how the whole orchestration works. So it said that it's sent, you can auto trigger these emails. So I could say, yeah, every, at 6 p.m. every day, let's send out the same thing, giving me a summary of my past three emails. But for now, let's just go to sense. And here we can see the email. So that's a quick little look at how MCPs and ChatGPT can connect together. So I hope you like that demo. In a few weeks, I'll show you how to build your own custom MCP in Python. That's where you can tailor it directly to your firm's tools and workflows. But for now, we just went through how it connects with Gmail so you can get a feel for things. If this excites you, hit like and subscribe. Every week I share how AI is transforming engineering workflows and I'll be walking through full MCP demo soon that you will not want to miss. MCPs are the missing link between AI and engineering tools. They're not just for productivity apps like Gmail. They're the backbone of what the future holds with these language user interfaces and it is crucial to understand them they're new tech but they are powerful start experimenting now with ChatGPT's developer mode in rube then think bigger what if sap pc swim or your cad tools all plugged into one assistant that's where this is going thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video